Hello everybody, we're at a site west of Dukashev in a region of Mars called Ainia Terra. This is a site that I haven't featured before, so the anomalies I'll be showing you are brand new. So let's have a look at the source, then I'll show you the anomalies. The photograph we're analyzing is called USGS Dune Database Entry Number 2252-613. The IRIS acquired this on the 17th of October 2018 at a high resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you images are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's the huge dune field at the site and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these bright objects that litter this terrain. So for reference, we have our near Terra Avia to the right. Dukashev is located there. And the site we're looking at is right there in the center in that circular depression at coordinate 61 degrees, 21 minutes south, 134 degrees, 47 minutes west. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies I spotted close by towards the end of the video as well. So we'll be looking at the anomaly located there. Yeah, I'm showing you a comparison between a conventionally magnified image using a magnifier plugin for Google Chrome. You can download those and install them for yourselves as well. There's a few to choose from. So yeah, we're looking at four times upscale and you can see a conventional magnifier always produces blurry images and I use Gigapixel to upscale these anomalies so yeah you can see a comparison between the two there's the original at one to one scale so you can make out the outlines of the two are the same the highlights, shadows and the shape correspond We've also got an L-shaped piece there, which is also visible in both. So Gigapixel upscales preserving edges, producing nice, sharp, crisp images, whereas conventional magnification produces these really blurry images. So there it is, folks. We'll be zooming in on it. And I'm including a scale indicator to assist in identifying how big these anomalies are. So we've got 20 meters there, 20, 10. So that block or megalith is about 12 meters in length on the one side. Look at the uniformity in the width and the cool right angles to it. And it's partially embedded or covered with sand. Then the L-shaped part of here to the right looks very unusual as well. And then another megalithic block. I'm just showing you another example where I used conventional magnification versus gigapixel. And you can make out the same size, shape, highlights and shadows. You can also make out the smaller rounded part over there to the top right of that block. Also the geometry, it's rounded and you can see corresponds on the gigapixel upscale as well. There's the actual size one to one scale. So we'll zoom in on the block right there. It's 20, 10, 5. So that there is about 5 
56 meters in length, uniformity in the thickness and width, cool 90 degree angle stirred and surrounded Avia to the top. It's got this strange protruding part sticking out on the one side. Right, another block or slab. That one I'd say is 2010. So about 12 to 14 meters in length. And I'm not going to show conventional upscaling. You've now seen examples and I've shown that the gigapixel upscale preserves the edges so the shape, size and geometry highlights and shadows are the same. So here we're looking at a gigapixel upscale. We've got right angles to this part multiple layers by the looks of it faceted sides strange pattern on it as well Another huge megalithic block or slab there, about the same length. Let's take a closer look at it. A very shiny surface and a neat uniform width as well. Looks like there's a step to it, to the top. And then a triangular shape on the bottom. Right, let's have a look at the block over there. That's about 5 meters in length. And again, neat right angles, straight edges, uniform width and thickness. And this one's also got a small part protruding off the one side. More megalithic blocks and slabs over there, folks. Check that out. The larger one, I'd say, is about... 2010, about 8 to 10 meters in length. Again, we've got straight edges and right angles to these. This one's got a neat slot in it. Check out the brighter material on this one. It seems to be eroded on the one side. Could this be something like plaster or cement covering these blocks? The weird blocks over there, about five meters in length as well. Got three parts, uniform width to both of those, right angles. And then that smaller square part is wedged between two pieces. But a long, narrow part bridging that gap at 90 degrees to the outer two objects. Right, then we get to what I speculate is placement of smaller objects on larger ones. That piece is about six meters in length and close to its center we've got that small spherical object. This looks like some type of pattern that's been depicted here folks. Highly speculative of me but check that out. We've got a row there, yeah, and then a third one over there. And the spacing between those smaller objects is roughly speaking about the same. Right, let's have a look at that one. It's about six meters in length. It's got an odd shape to it. Covered in sand on the top. But it looks as if it's a symmetrical shape as well. So if we cut a line through there, fold it over will have the same shape. It's rather odd. And then this oval part in the center seems to be raised. 
and then it ramps up from left to right. Right, let's have a look at the oval piece there. It's about five to six meters in length. Neat oval shape. And then this brighter part running through the center uniform in width as well. And then that there seems to be an opening. Very symmetrical. And then the strange oddity over there to the top left. I'd say that is about 10 meters in length. It's got a dome shape to it or convex shape. And then this disc like part on the one side. I don't know what to make of that folks. And then there's another odd piece over here to the left. Then the dome like part over there about 10 meters in diameter. Check this out. Neat circular shape. And then it's also got a dome like appearance to it some oddities around it as well it seems to be an indentation running around the base then this long narrow part there it's about 12 meters in length two smaller blocks at the ends this long narrow piece and then weird stuff going on there between the two arranged in a row as well looks almost like piping right let's shoot down to that site west of Dukashev is located over here to the east and then we've got the site we're looking at right there here's just a brief look at those anomalies again these are the thumbnails I've pinned to that site in Google Mars lots of megalithic blocks and slabs and then these strange round parts spherical dome like shapes it's weird to see right angled pieces and round objects at the same site right let's have a look at the anomalies I've found here close to Chamberlain we had this like part there with what looks like a lid or a hatch to it strange patterns depicted there on that piece that's huge it's about 10 to 12 meters across Lots of oddities going on here as well. There's also lots of blocks or slabs in this area. And then placements of smaller objects or protrusions on larger parts. Check there, right in its center. Another one of those oval parts with a flat surface running through the center. Check another huge megalithic block 
another one of those long narrow pieces so let's have a look at those those long narrow parts and then that oval piece see there and then that oval part there so we've got matching anomalies or artifacts at two different sites about 150 kilometers apart I hope you enjoyed this longer format video I look forward to engaging with you in the comments as always Thanks for watching.